you know, today everyone 16 and up now eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. There are a number of challenges to consider changes to the state sign up system as well as the pause in the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. News 8's Evan Arani joins us live now to break it all down. Hi, Nev Hi Evan. Hi there. Yes, Carrie and Netta, the power's definitely back on out here at San Diego State University. Uh, here at Vieja Arena, they are prepared to vaccinate up to 1,500 people a day. They're going for about 750 a day with the allotted doses that they have. Uh, but now that new window of, of expansion now makes its way to people 16 and older. You may remember it was just two weeks ago that the state expanded that to anyone over the age of 50. Today, anyone 16 or older can receive their first dose of the vaccine. They can register for appointments online using that my turn portal, including today at San Diego State University Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara. He was here today talking about getting his first dose. He was also mentioning the hesitancy that many people have expressed in getting their doses, encouraging people to book their appointments. You know, it's great to be back at San Diego State. This is where, you know, my political career started uh, to be able to encourage San Diegans to, to get vaccinated and especially here at San Diego State a university that continues to, to grow and thrive and to be able to offer this to uh, local residents is critical and to demonstrate that San Diego State is committed once again to our community is, is very inspiring. Yes. And this is a message that the public officials have been emphasizing for a long time, especially within communities like the Latino community that have been hit especially hard by the pandemic across the state of California. They say once you're eligible, schedule an appointment and encourage others to do the same. County supervisors acknowledge the hesitancy to get vaccinated, especially with the CDC panel voting just yesterday to continue with a pause on the Johnson and Johnson vaccine after rare blood clots were seen in six women who received that dose. The Johnson & Johnson single-dose vaccine only accounted for 3% of the region's doses, which they say will have minimal to no impact on their efforts beginning today. And despite this, they're still reminding residents of the stress on the system with millions of Californians now eligible. They say the process will stay, still take several months, so to be patient with scheduling appointments. They're also changing, of course, the uh, adjustments to the My Turn portal, and they say that that will make it easier to search and book appointments. If you can't get an appointment today or at your closest location. Officials encourage you to continue looking and to consider locations maybe farther out from the radius that you were only looking at. They say that this is a process that in all will take several months rather than say several days. So of course to be patient along the way. Uh, San Diego State University like I mentioned has the capacity to vaccinate 1500 people a day. At this point it really comes down to the supply that the county and the state is given. They're open five days a week here. You can find appointments to register on our website cbs8.com and more information information as well. You can also go to the county website for all of that info too. I'm Evan Irani, News 8.